Aries, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. I got this little. <laughs> All right, Gary, how you doing, mate? Anyway, Aries. This is your timeless reading. So whenever you see this, it's for you. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. You can only get a legitimate private reading from me if you come to my website. You have to go to the website. It's in the description box below, or it's just gentvtarot.com. The door's open. Come through the back door. He's so f he likes to come through the window. You're a very cute dog. Yes, you are. It's, no, I don't want to come through the door. That's what normal cats do. I want to come through the window. All right, Aries. This is your timeless reading. What have you got for Aries, please? Uh, it looks like a, a relationship ended. Somebody was confused and that's why it ended. Someone couldn't decide what they wanted. And so it ended. Why is the King of Pentacles here in reverse for what you need to know right now? This is like, it's, I'm in charge. Me, me, me. I'm the boss. This is how it goes. Tell me more. It kind of looks like, in a way, this person was kind of rebounding with you. Even if you were in quite a significantly long relationship with someone they were in love with somebody else so it was a rebound for them they always had this other person on their mind and it looks like they walked away from you in the end to go back to this it was you know this is someone that they were in love with before Take it how it resonates, this could be you. What does Aries need to know right now? It's over. It's done. They're not coming back to you now. Because they've chosen someone else queen of wands in reverse this is uh somebody possibly another female if you're a lady watching who's in the way now i'm taking it as a romantic thing but you know they could have you know ended the relationship to this there's a woman in the way so it could be like you know a family member or something that that they've made a choice to uh, spend more time with that person than you. It could be that, but this is a little love reading. Oh, he's so cute. I can't stand it. Just come in through the door, mate. Just want, want his fluffy snuggles. Look. I kind of just want to put you out of your misery here and say that it's done. That this isn't coming back. This person's not coming back. They were always in love with this other person. I don't really see that at the moment. It doesn't really look like they had much in the way of love for you. What's coming up in the near future? You want, you want some closure, but you're not going to get it, not from this person. 
they got what they wanted back and, and you're irrelevant now. That's that's sort of what it looks like to them. You're not irrelevant. Hold on. I'm running out of batteries. Hold on. There we go. I <laughs> didn't switch it on. You're not irrelevant, my love, but to them you are. Because they're a butthole and they obviously can't see how amazing you are. And your true glory, which I can see. I don't know. You're here watching a tarot reading, so you're obviously, you know, a spiritual person. Spiritual people get messed around because we're special. We're, you know, we're light beings. We, uh, No, we're, we're, it's like we're made from love. We're from love. We come from love. And that's all we really want. We just want to be loved. And that's part of our journey is to transmute the pain that we get from not being loved into positive energy. Some freaking how we have to do it. And that's kind of part of your journey here is the best you can hope for with this is this person's not coming back. You have to kind of try and figure out what you learned from this and take it forwards, as painful as it is. So we've got the shadow side, which is the devil in reverse. You're breaking free of this. But what have you learned from it? You're breaking free of this and, and that gives you the chance to stand in your power again. Which, with this person, you weren't reaching your full potential. There's not a single good card coming out for you and this person. It's done. And that's what you need to... Get your head around. It's hard. I sort of see things coming your way like hearing things after the fact bad news rumors gossip this is what they were like this is what they did things that you don't want to hear you don't want to find out Things that were said that hurt that they it's it's painful for you to hear the world them if it's any consolation to you the reason it didn't work out with the other person for them in the first place that's still there and that's not gone away and it's never going to go away they're never really going to be happy with this person either. They're just closing out that cycle. If it's any consolation to you at all. <laughs> they think they're going to be happy. They might have a moment. Yay, I got them back. But I don't think they really got this person back. Tell me more. They held on to uh, a projection of what that person was, not who that person really is. And I think they're going to be unpleasantly surprised that that person isn't who they wanted them to be. And they wasted a lot of time and broken your heart in the process. You're going to move on from this. The outcome here is that you are going to move on from this. You are going to be okay. This is your new beginning. It's going to be difficult for you to let this go, but you will at some point, eventually, let it go and move on from it. 
Um, this is your new beginning. New start. A new cycle for you. You will let it go. It's just not going to be easy. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. Like for me, you know, I've been heartbroken for seven years now. But I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. <laughs> it took me a while, but I am there. I'm finally there. I'm, I'm in a place where, all right, I can move on. I kind of got over it at least at least five years ago that someone else broke my heart so just sort of felt like an ongoing thing for me let's pull you I'm gonna take this into extended I'm gonna pull you some oracles first let's, I'm gonna take this into extended I'm gonna ask about this person for you um how do they really truly feel about you where are you in their heart space what are their intentions towards you in the future what uh what do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe but it looks like they never really loved you in the first place. That's kind of what it is. I don't see any cards. Step out of your comfort zone. I don't see any cards that suggest that they do. One more. A fiery climax approaches. Let me know. So if it isn't over already, it's about to be. And it sort of looks like you're going to find out things that are unpleasant to hear on the grapevine, gossip-wise. Your love lyric for the day is... Everything works if you let it, if you let it in your heart. Uh, I actually listened to that about an hour ago. Uh, cheap trick, everything works if you let it. I have some new cards today given to me by my friend Neil for my birthday. So I'm just going to pull you one of these. There's not many in the deck, but it's it's kind of perfect in that way, in that sense. They're really tiny, but they're lovely. Let's pull you one of these. No need to worry. It's all going to be fine. Gorgeous. Love these. Love getting new cards. All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. Link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Thanks. Goodbye.